Hi, my name is Matthew Heath. I'm a PGA professional and a teaching professional here at Lakelands Country Club. Um, today I'm just going to go through some bunker tips. Um, bunkers is one of those things that uh, a lot of people struggle with, um, so I'm going to give you a couple of handy hints that hopefully you can take with you and try on the golf course. Um, first thing is open that club face. You've got a 60 degree lob wedge, you want to open that club face so it's about 70 degrees. Why we do this is because we want the ball to go up nice and high. We're not looking for distance, we're looking for nice nice height in our bunker shots. So the other thing I'm going to do as well is I'm going to put that ball nice and forward in my stance. You don't want the ball back in your stance because that makes the ball go low and that sort of defeats the purpose of opening that club face. So first thing, open the club face. Next I'm going to put the ball forward in my stance. Get nice and low. You'll see this on the TV, the guys try and wriggle their feet in so they're nice and stable. Now the, probably the biggest point of a bunker shot is that we're not actually going to take our normal golf swing where we sort of go around our body. The bunker shot works when the club gets picked up and cuts across the ball. That's what makes it get that a lot of spin. So club face open, ball position forward, and now I'm going to pick the club up and cut across the ball. So those are some things I want you to try. Remember, open that club face, ball position forward, pick the club up and cut across it. I hope these tips have helped. If you need any help in the future, please don't hesitate to contact Lakelands Country Club and book a lesson.